Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2011 Ford Escape Limited. Looks like a pretty snazzy car. Let's go take a look. Let me start off by saying I've become a big fan of Ford over the last couple of years. They have begun to design cars that are fun to drive, that have the latest technology, that are designed well, built well, all at affordable prices. The interior materials are really high quality. The fit and finish of the interior is impeccable. I think the design is great. From a technology standpoint, Ford has been very out in front. They've added Microsoft Sync to a lot of their vehicles, and this vehicle has it. And what Microsoft Sync allows you to do is to have voice command or voice control of your phone. You can upload all of your contacts into the vehicle's hard drive. You can make voice activated calls, hands free right through the audio system, which until recently has been really exclusive to high-end vehicles. You can also upload your music and play that off the hard uh, drive as well. Don't count on escaping with much in this vehicle. It has a very small storage capacity for people and for stuff. While there's not a lot of storage room in the trunk, these back seats are pretty comfortable with the, with the front seat all the way back. No armrest in the back seat, which is odd. So I would say this would be a good car for four people. Let's talk about driving the car. Uh, it's fun on the highway, it's peppy, it's very precise, it's very sporty. On the highway I've never felt like the car was uh, swaying or leaning into another lane. Every action that I make is very controlled, you, you feel very confident. You've got the power that you need to pass other vehicles on the road. It's just really a pleasure to drive. It's just as fun to drive in town as it is on the highway. There, are, there is one sight issue with this vehicle. The back headrests, there are three of them. There's actually a headrest for the middle position. They really block a, a good deal of the back window. Now, I've noticed that someone who rented this car previously has um, raised the headrests, but even with them in their full or their down position, there is a substantial piece of the bottom of the back window that's blocked. Where that's come into play on the highway has been in, in trying to, to switch lanes, especially going to your right. You're not 100% sure at first glance if you're safe to move into that next one. I'm really torn on this review because I really enjoy so many things about this vehicle. It's fun to drive. It's stylish. Um, it's peppy. But it, it does have some things that for an everyday vehicle would probably eliminate it from my search. It's short on storage. It's noisier than I'd like on the highway. And it has the sideline issue with the backseat headrests. But overall, I would recommend this vehicle for someone who's not concerned with storage capacity and putting a lot of people in the vehicle. If you're looking for a stylish little SUV that is fun to drive, that's built well, and has some techie amenities for the buck, well, this is a great buy. So there you have it. Another honest auto review from an average guy. If you're in the market for a small, stylish SUV that comes up just a little bit short on space, you may want to take a look at the Ford Escape. And I'll see you next time.